Take a seat. Ah, uh, there, th there's no chair. So my latest experiment on the HeyGen website is to see if I could upload external content into the, my account and use it in a HeyGen video. Um, I know that the idea of avatar driven videos is to have the avatar be presenting content in every scene. But sometimes you want to have a scene in your video that is nothing but backdrop video. And that's what I try to do. Also, you know, as I've been saying privately, but I haven't said in a video, I don't think yet, is the, the idea of what these websites are meaning to provide for their customers is an environment in which they can create training and or promotional videos for their services and or products. Well, in order to showcase your products in an AI-driven video, you have to be able to show them. You can't just use stock photos and stock video. I mean, you see how well it's worked for me. I've just been doing nothing but make fun of it. But when you look at some of the videos that I've been using, I'm going like, Who, where would you possibly use that? Really? Except for some hyper, out-of-touch, motivational montage or something. I don't know. But, um, but I wanted to see if I could, you know, import video segments and use them in a Hadrian video. And it does work, sort of. Here's the first scene of what I did. This is just an experiment to see if user uploaded video content can be merged into output videos at the HeyGen website. Did that interviewer have sound? If not, I will make sure to append those segments again after the export and post-production. It's all about chairs this time. And lower torsos and maybe butts. I sympathize with that guy in the film cow cartoon. I don't have a butt either. But I'm not a merman, just a half-bodied cartoon. I wonder if the VR goggles lady has a butt. Let's ask her. Yeah, no sound. It just totally omits the sound. But now you can use music on the HeyGen website, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of appropriate what they call auto ducking. I don't know if you've heard about auto ducking is when the system automatically reduces the volume of the background music so that it doesn't overpower the person speaking. Um, they don't have a feature for that at all. It just does a portion of auto ducking for the uh, sound music you put on the scenes and you really can't control when and where the music appears. Um, but anyway, so here, let me show you the second scene that I did. I am not naked, so I should be safe from the bears here. This cocktail dress extends all the way to the ground, but my legs don't. Surely the bears will eat me in that other forest, and then I won't have to waste my life away waiting for Apple to update my VR goggles so that it can show a lower torso in the metaverse. I don't even have a lower torso, so there's no point in trying to imagine how sexy my legs might be. She is floating about three feet off the ground on a metallic hovercraft about the size of a serving tray. Her intestines sometimes spill out and make a terrible stink. If she had legs like these chairs, she could run into the forest where the bears can eat her. This is just an experiment to see if users can use uploaded video segments in HeyGen videos. I still daydream about skinny dipping in space. The honey will protect my skin from gamma radiation, right? Yeah, it, that music was just way overpowering the scene. But, you know, I think, I think Hagen is slowly learning how to be a more effective website for what it needs. Aside from the idea that you don't have to have really great production values to be able to make decently effective training or promotional videos, but you at least they need to have effective production techniques. I mean, the auto ducking failure is a pretty frustrating problem for people who want to have epic and inspiring music, 
but don't want it to overpower the avatar talking because that's important content there. Uh, and the background videos. Uh, I don't know, let me show you a couple of screenshots of their menus. Um, the, the whole screen, I mean, I don't have a small monitor, so this isn't a failure of my hardware. I have a big screen. And this is how big the menu is, way over on the left there. That's their menu. And let me show you a few bars of the different features. Let me scoot over a little bit so there's more room. The different features that they have, at the top you have to literally click on them to get it to scroll across so that you can click on the ones further to the right. Because it doesn't actually show them because the column for the features is so narrow. But um, yeah, so that's something that they need to work on. But anyway, I just wanted to real quickly show that, say yes, it can do it, but not as well. Um, in the Pixel Dungeon Market video, I did show some videos on every scene, but I muted them. I, I went into uh, Pinnacle outside of um, Colossian and pasted the videos onto the footage outside of... No, did I? No, I, I edited it in Pinnacle first, and then I put it into... Colossian because I had to detach the audio and upload them as muted videos because I didn't want to have any of the sound because I shot them like in the bathroom or in the den or out in the backyard or in the living room with my wife while she was chattering and playing music on her computer. It was like I didn't want all that random unrelated sound there. But you know if you're using stuff where you have to have the sound then you should be able to include the sound. And I think on Colossian it does include the sound of videos if you upload videos. But uh, for those of you who are Jason Steele film cow purists, I'm going to include the uh, segments that I used at the end of the video. So they will be there. So you won't feel like you were totally cheated. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to get this up there real quick and show off that Yes, it sort of works, but it also sort of doesn't work. And there's a couple other features that they still need to work on. Um, as far as you can tell, though, I'm still having fun with it. It's just frustrating and difficult. And, you know, Klausian is a different environment. It really is. Um, there are some things that they could share, but I think it's important that they don't. I think they need to go off in different directions. But unfortunately, that means that Colossian is probably going to get the corporate markets and Heijin is probably going to get the hobbyist markets. Or maybe the inspirational meme market, I don't know. But still, let me just not ramble too far and let me just show you the Jason Steele footage with the audio so that you can go away happy. I have no butt, Sam. Excuse me? Yeah, that's right. I have no lower body of any kind. Some people may call me a merman. Why are you telling me that? Is that why you have no chair? Tell me. I think this interview is spiraling out of control. Sam, I need a mermaid for my merman. Ah. Uh, why did God take my butt? It wasn't a gradual thing, Sam. My butt just walked off and left. It's very sad. Is that why you have no chair? 